Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about the meaning of the term assignment problems and what is the model of assignment problems? What is the algorithm to be followed while solving assignment problems? Now in this video, second theory video on assignment problem, I'm going to explain you about the special cases in assignment problems. Few uh, special cases are there. Now I told you that uh, theory is very important in examination frequently theory will also be asked. So a student must be perfect regarding the theory concepts of assignment problems. Apart from this, I have uploaded all the videos on all the units of operational research. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject operation research. Select the videos of all linear programming, simulation, game theory, queuing theory, networking, transportation. All these problems are uploaded. So watch all the videos to get the perfect command on this subject of operation research. Now before starting the special cases in assignment problems, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board then I'll explain. Now, in the previous video, I have explained you the meaning of the term assignment problems. These are those problems where a business may have a limited resources and those limited resources have to be applied on limited jobs. For example, N resources are there and N jobs are there. So we have to select which resource to be applied for which, I mean, uh, which activity. So number of resources and number of activities will be same. That means a square matrix will be there. Example, if uh, five persons are there and five jobs are there, one person should be assigned to one job so that the optimum efficiency can be achieved. That means minimum time required to complete all the five jobs in by using five resources, five persons. Those type of problems are called uh, assignment problem. Now, special cases in AP. First special case is maximization case in assignment problem. Normally the algorithm, the assignment problem algorithm is given for minimization type problems. But sometimes a problem will be of a maximization type. The maximizing variable may be profit has to be maximized, <coughs> sales have to be maximized, etc. <coughs> so in this type of problems, same algorithm can be used but slightly we have to change the profit matrix into opportunity loss matrix after converting the profit matrix into opportunity loss matrix we can follow the same algorithm same steps will get the optimum assignment and that optimum assignment which is there for opportunity loss will be same as the assignment for profit maximization right now, some assignment problem entail maximizing the profit, maximizing the sales, etc. Such problem can also be solved by the Hungarian method as it is easy to obtain equivalent minimization problem. That means we have to convert that maximization problem into an equivalent minimization problem by converting the profit into opportunity loss. Now, by covering every number in the matrix to an opportunity loss, the conversion is accomplished by subtracting all the elements of the given matrix from the highest element. So, first of all, the first question is how to convert the profit into opportunity loss. Select the highest profit element. From that the highest profit element, subtract all other elements of the matrix. So when we subtract all elements from the highest element, the resulting matrix will be called as opportunity loss matrix. Now, it turns out that minimizing opportunity loss produces the same assignment solution as the original maximization problem. So whatever assignment, optimum assignment will get in opportunity loss matrix, the same assignment will apply to maximization of profit matrix. This is the case regarding 
maximization problem that you have to remember that first convert it into minimization then solve it next is multiple optimum solution it is not necessary that always the problem will give you only one solution no there are chances that the same problem may have multiple optimum solution and every solution will give the same total cost right so sometimes it is possible to have two or more ways of crossing out all the zero elements in the final matrix reduced matrix of a given problem so in the steps first row subtraction second column subtraction then drawing minimum number of lines then making the assignment while making the assignment you will find that all the rows are having uh, more than one uh, more than one zeros actually when we make the assignment in one row one zero will be assigned the other zeros in that column will be cancelled then what will happen if we have two zeros in row then you have to assign one zero and cancel the other zeros right so this implies that there are more than one required number of independent zero elements so in a row not only one zero but more than one zero are there then we have to arbitrarily assign in any one of the zero in such cases there will be multiple optimum solutions with the same total cost assignment so this will happen when we have two or more than two zeros in every row then in such type of situation management may exercise their judgment or preference and select that set of optimum assignment which is more suited to their requirement that means there we have to apply our own judgment the management will see that which uh, i mean assignment should be made if you take one assignment the other assignment should be cancelled so particularly in this multiple optimum solution the management has to apply their judgment in making the assignment which is best suited for their requirement this is multiple optimum solutions the next one is unbalanced problem assignment problem will be balanced when the number of rows and number of columns are equal that means the number of resources and the number of activities are same example if five persons are there and five jobs are there it is called balanced problem square matrix you must have to solve the ap problem but if it is not square matrix the number of rows and number of columns are not equal then it is called unbalanced problem so whenever the payoff matrix of an assignment problem is not a square matrix then number of rows and number of columns are not equal the ap is called unbalanced problem in such cases dummy row or dummy column has to be created example if only four rows are there and five columns are there only four rows so one row we have to include dummy row we have to include sometimes five rows but only four columns in that one dummy column we have to make in order to make the problem as a balanced problem then then we apply the hungarian method to this resulting square matrix once if you balance the problem then you can follow the same steps hungarian method steps for example if five workers are to be assigned six machines a dummy row is to be added five workers are there rows we have five but six jobs are there columns are six then in that case one dummy row dummy worker we have to make then an ap into a square matrix 6 by 6 creating dummy rows or column will give us matrix equal dimensions and allow us to solve the problem so it's a prerequisite that before applying hungarian method we have to see that the problem is a balanced problem by making either dummy row or dummy column now the cost or time associated with this dummy row or dummy column is assigned zero element when we open a dummy row the cost element should be zeros that means in the boxes in the cells we should take zero values either in the dummy row or dummy column that's all this is all about unbalanced problems all these things we are going to apply while doing the problems now prohibited assignment sometimes in the problem it will be given that this activity cannot be assigned to this worker for example c worker cannot be able to do fourth job 
तो दिस इज कॉल्ड प्रोहिबिटेड असाइनमेंट सी वर्कर शुड नॉट बी अलाउड और कैन नॉट बी एबल टू डन फोर्थ जॉब सो सी रो फोर्थ कॉलम पुट ए डैश डैश और सर्कल दैट दिस सेल शुड नॉट बी ऑक्युपाइड Sometimes due to certain reasons or assignment cannot be made to a particular cell. For example, a particular machine cannot be insta uh, installed at a particular place, or a worker cannot be given a particular job to perform. Example: A machine cannot be able to do a particular job, or a worker cannot be able to do a particular job. In that case, prohibited assignment. so to resolve this we put either a very large cross or dash to avoid assignment in those cells where there is a restriction on assignment so whenever we have to make a restriction on assignment in that cell put a dash or cross mark you should make so that no assignment should be done in that cell last topic of this video is traveling salesman problem simply it is called tsp so traveling salesman problem is very similar to assignment to problem whatever assignment problem algorithm is there the same algorithm will be used in tsp also but one extra restriction is there in tsp so there is an additional restriction that a salesman who start from his home city visits each city only once and return to his home city so what is this traveling salesman problem he has to travel from his home city to different cities and after visiting each city once he has to come back to his home city example totally five cities are there a b c d e and the home city where the salesman traveling salesman will start is a city now from a city he has to visit any other four cities b c d e any city he can visit but after visiting each of the other cities he has to come back to his home city a that means what is the sequence he should follow from a home city whether he should go to b or he can go to c or he can go to d or he can go to e then after e from where he has to go that means we have to find out the sequence of completing all the cities and coming back to the home city so that the total distance traveled should be minimum that is the objective now suppose a salesman has to visit n cities he wishes to start from a particular city visit each city once and return to his starting point any uh, the starting point may be any point from that starting point he is visiting the other cities only once and then coming back to his home city the objective is to select the sequence in which that is arrested in such a way that is total traveling time is minimized when time is there cost is there distance is there we have to minimize so here we we need to find out in what uh, i mean minimum distance travel he should visit all the cities and come back to his home city clearly starting from a given city the salesman will have a total of n minus 1 factorial different sequences or possible trips suppose n cities are there n minus 1 to 5 minus 1 4 4 factorial 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 4 into 3 12 4 3 12 12 into 2 24 24 into 1 24 the so, total 24 methods are there 24 ways are there in which he can be able to start from a particular city and visit each city once and come back so in this 24 sequences which is the most appropriate sequence where the total distance traveled will be minimum that is that is there in tsp further since the salesman has to visit all the n cities the optimal solution remains independent of selection of the starting point starting point may be any for example the starting point may be a or b or c or d or e any starting point but from starting point he has to visit other cities once and come back right and let in a uh, let us take an example in a five city problem the five cities are a b or 1 2 3 4 5 five cities are there 
a round trip of the salesman be given in the following way. The round trip, for example, three is the home city. So from third city, he is going to first city. Now from first city, he is going to second city. From second city, he is going to fourth city. From fourth city, he is going to fifth city. From fifth city, he is coming back to home city that is three. So starting from three and ending at three, one round trip is made. This is the example of traveling salesman problem. In examination, very frequently they have asked what is traveling salesman problem. So this explanation is more than enough for giving the answer to TSP. Apart from that, short questions will be asked regarding what is <clears throat> prohibited restriction or what is an unbalanced problem in assignment and uh, one more problem what will happen in a maximization type problem or what is multiple optimum solution in AP these are the topics which frequently will be asked in theory and apart from that this situation what we have discussed now will be applied in solving the problems so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel among your friends among your group so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed inshallah we'll start the problems on ap in the next video